We wanted to participate in this competition to really show everybody else that we have the capabilities to go out and shoot with the best of them. We've done two matches. We've done the Holy Moly and the Oxymoron. They were matches consisting of both pistol and M4 qualifications and tables, requiring shooting through barriers from different positions, including standing, kneeling, and the prone, and pistol transitions. So far, it's been more difficult than I've thought, but it's really tested my skills and showed me what I need to work on. Leading into this marksmanship challenge, the team as a whole, we met a couple of times to really go over what it means to be mentally resilient. Uh, pretty much they worked on our mental performance, our breathing, um, basically our whole mindset as a whole to figure out what makes us tweak uh, in certain ways to make sure that our mental performance is spot on when it comes to actually shooting for the competition. The way that I like to describe mental performance is understanding whether your mindset is helping you or hurting you. So making sure that your thoughts, actions, and behaviors are all aligned with whatever it is that your outcome goal is. Our mental forms coach basically told us to breathe, kind of have certain clues and uh, words that help us uh, prepare ourselves for the, when it comes time to shoot. So uh, for instance, if it's like base, our stance, our trigger squeeze, just bring up certain small phrases that will help us remind ourselves in the moment of what to do. When you're breathing heavy, your, your heart rate is gonna be through the roof. You're not gonna be thinking properly, so you gotta get that heart rate down so that you can keep the weapon steady. Uh, once that weapon's steady, you, you lock and load and, and just fire those rounds down range. One of my favorite tips as far as breathing is recognizing that when our heart rate goes up, our brain starts to run a million miles an hour. And so when we tie into our breath and we can slow down our heart and our mind, we can think more clearly. So the best thing that I usually recommend to people is something called box breathing. So imagine a square equal on all sides. And I usually use about four or five counts. So you would inhale for four, hold for four, exhale for, hold for four. And the visualization of going around that box is really helpful because when you give your brain a job to focus on, it kind of cuts through everything else, right? That you, your brain technically can only focus on one thing at a time. So when you give it that job to focus on, the heart rate comes down, we're thinking more clearly, and we can work through those tough situations a little bit more efficiently. When I get back to my squad, I'll be able to really focus on proper breathing techniques and how we can use that for stress and time management, uh, not just in quals, but in every word asking about drills that we do. I'm gonna take the lessons learned back to my squad by, by incorporating the, the breathing lessons, incorporating the letting things go that you can't control, and just understanding that situations, they're, they're always gonna be at a high. So understanding that your nerves are high, your heart rate's high, and your breathing's high, if you can control those three things, then everything else will all fall in place.